Hi, and welcome to Beast for Baking. This week's recipe is a very easy one, and yet very delicious. I have for you chocolate caramel cookies. These cookies are very indulgent. If you are a fan of dulce de leche like me, you will love them. Let's go to the ingredients you will need. One cup of flour, half a cup of sugar, nine tablespoons of butter room temperature, one egg yolk, one teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter a cup of baking cocoa, half a cup of chocolate chips, one can of dulce de leche, and salt. You can find the full recipe on the description box down below. For the first step, we will get some of our ingredients ready. We will sift the flour and the cocoa to remove any lumps. You will end up with a mix that looks like this. Next, we will melt our chocolate on the microwave. Mine took about 45 seconds. For the next step, we will need a food processor. If you don't have one, you can use a stand mixer or a hand mixer. Add the butter that is at room temperature along with the sugar and we will mix it until it's pale yellow and smooth. This takes about two minutes. Next, we will add the yolk and the vanilla, and we will continue mixing. With a spatula, make sure to scrape the sides to fully mix everything. Add the melted chocolate and mix well. Finally, add the flour cocoa mixture and combine it until you have the texture of a soft paste. The next step is to transfer the dough to a bowl. I will cover the bowl with plastic wrap and put it on the fridge for about 30 minutes to harden. Set your oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. I will use a baking tray cover with a silicon pad to bake my cookies. I'll link it down below. Parchment paper work just as good. So it's time to shape them. You can do any size of cookie that you want. Once we have rolled all the dough, with my fingers, I will start making a hole in the middle. This will create the space I need to add the caramel later.
between the palm of your hands until you get a ball shape. for about 14 minutes. look done. They spread just a little bit, but they kept the shape. I will cool them completely in the baking tray. This takes about 30 minutes, and then I will transfer them to a rack. And now I start to fill them with the dulce de leche. You can add as much as you want. The dulce de leche can be found at the grocery store, right where the condensed milk is. I will put a link to buy it online down below. of salt to some of the cookies. This is for a bit of salty caramel taste. And there you go, a delicious cookie recipe. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. I have new videos every single Friday. Subscribe to the channel down below and don't forget to click the bell to get notifications for whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and until next Friday, bye!